Tight checking game. It was a grinder. You know, they 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 checked hard tonight, and most of the things that we were you know frustrated with were some of the things we did with the puck. Um, but it's it's good because the pressure is building in our room as that game goes on, and you go in tied going into the third. Um, so you're watching for that reaction to the pressure, and we were really good in the third. That was our best by far, and pushed hard. And but you're. I don't know. I believe in that. maybe it's karma or not, but we get the two goals that don't go for you. The first is a goal on the ice, and it's so close. You think you got a chance of it being good. I'm not going to fight over it. The second one, no goal on the ice. It's no goal. Rhino gets that stick. We hit a bunch of bars, um, but they stayed with it. We we got better as the game went on, certainly in the third. So that's a great sign. Matthew Kachuk does it again, and he does so. He- Went down, gets back up, finds the back of the net. What did you see from your? I don't even know how to describe that man. He's he's just a gamer, right? Like he's so focused when he gets to the rink. He's not distracted by anything. Even you know, he gets popped a couple times, or there's scrums in front of the net. The puck drops, and he's back focused on the game. And you you start to get the sense that you're hanging around a little bit of greatness there, right? Big game, big big goal guy. And then he's done it all year, so it's fun to watch. Six straight wins. Just what is the overall biggest thing that you've learned about this group during that stretch? Uh, if we give our goaltender a chance to win a game, he's going to help us do that. You know, he we we, uh, we helped him in the third. Uh, he had to make some couple of saves there in the second that were really important. We have a completely different pressure dynamic in our room than in theirs, and uh, he's been a big part of us handling that for the last six. How, how aware were you of what Pittsburgh did today, or what the Islanders did? Did you block that out? Well, I knew what Pittsburgh did because it was an afternoon game. I didn't watch it, but you check your phone, man, uh, all the time. Uh, but didn't know after. I guess for me, just you look at the schedule, there's just an expectation they're winning out. But we've kind of felt that. I mean, we did and they did what they needed to do two games ago, right? We beat Buffalo, and then there, Buffalo's still coming. Um, big overtime win in Toronto. So we took care of the games that we were supposed to, and then we knew when you get to the back half, we're going to have to play our best hockey of the year to last two games to win, and that's possible. We can play our best hockey. Uh, we just expect that Pittsburgh and, uh, and the Allen will win out. Yeah. You've always had an unwavering belief in this group, even when things weren't going the team's way. Why is that? It's, it's not just the now. It's the future of where they're going. They're willing to work. They're still learning how to grind on every puck and every, every shift. The core uh, works hard, pushes each other, but has a great amount of respect for each other. It's a really tight core group of guys. And you know what, then Matthew Kachuk has a lot to do with that at his age, to become so dynamic and so dominant. And, and your leaders of, you know, Barkov just quietly physical tonight and big points at the right time to chuck that personality. Those are different but important personalities to have in your leadership group. You know what, Aaron Eckblad? He uh, got pulled off the power play about three weeks ago, and when he went back on him, he's been a big part. So we scored in every game that we needed to, and he's had a huge part of it. Yeah, what's impressed you most about Ekblad? He's now starting at 17 Just, point streak. It's the reminder over the years, I think, that you forget the, the confidence means everything, even to great players, players that you wouldn't think should ever suffer a confidence issue. Um, you get one to go for you, man, and you can feel like a different player. Thank you. Thank you.